Hello everyone, I hope I find you all well. I've got something slightly different for you this afternoon as it involves an act of great kindness from a subscriber to this channel. This is somebody in the dinosaur collecting community who I've known for a little while. I know we've all had pretty hard few years and I'm no exception. You know, it's been incredibly difficult and it's getting even more difficult and I feel incredibly privileged to have received this from the subscriber. You know who you are and thank you so much. Um, I really didn't expect, you know, any anything like this, so I'm absolutely delighted. And I know it involves this little guy, albeit in his original unpainted form, so that we can compare those two figures. And this uh, rose as a result of an offhanded comment I made, lamenting the fact that I didn't pick up on more of the Schleich of Psittacosaurus when it was available because I really do feel that it is probably one of Schleich's finest figures uh, so in terms of the sculpt and the detail and the pose you know it is on a different level the proportions everything it's on a different level I'm getting into this box here a different level to most of Schleich's offerings and you know I mean they, they did it in the horrendous green pink colour scheme and it just you know so Jung Chung Tat do a fabulous uh, repaints of the figure and that inspired me to do one too, which is nowhere near as fabulous. However, you know, <laughs> well, there's a little more in this box than I was expecting. Thank you very much, subscriber. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We. This is an absolute goodies box. Thank you so much. There is some phenomenal figures in here. We've got this absolutely beautiful little young Schwanosaurus from PNSO. <gasps> oh this, this truly has been my heart's desire for so long. How did you know this is an original Batat Steracosaurus and I have always lamented the fact that I no longer have mine. I had this figure and I have I have always kicked myself for not keeping it. You know, and I went through a phase when I was younger and I decided to part with most of my dinosaur collection and I have thought about this figure so often. I still have my Batat T-Rex but I have missed the Styracosaurus so much. Thank you so much. This is brilliant. Look at the detail on this little figure. What a, what a figure. Absolutely Right, I'm going to start crying in a minute, so I'm going to behave myself because there's some other things in this box too. Here we go. Here is this little Stachosaurus dude in his original coloration. Fab, absolutely fab. And we've got some others in here too. Oh wow. So we've got this little collector Mantellisaurus. I love Iguanodonts and I'm greatly looking forward to PNSO's Iguanodon when it comes out. I can't wait to display this alongside it. Fantastic. I know it's a Fugrisaurus, sorry. There's <laughs> some Antelisaurus. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Another one of Collector's little stunners. And there's more in here too. This is absolutely incredible. Wow. So <laughs> we've got a further figure in here. This is the Mantellisaurus. This is where I'm getting mixed up. I'm drinking Mantellisaurus. Absolutely superb. Some packaging and everything as well. Oh wow, look at the colours and the details on this little figure. Look at the lovely stripes around the hips. Such fine scale detail as well. And the beautiful little hands, beautifully sculpted. Absolutely stunning. Oh, wow. Now this. How did you know? This was one of my favourite figures when I was a child. The Dino Riders Pteranodon. How did you know this? I might still have the armour for this somewhere. You know, of all the Dino Riders figures I had, I've still got the Triceratops, I've still got Lankylosaurus. Uh, well, it might be Euplocephalus, I can't remember. Um, but the Pteranodon. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is, this is like... A trip into my childhood and happy memories of that time. Um, you know, I adore this figure. Absolutely adore the Tyrannodon. You know, this is great for the action. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Great toy. Thank you so much. And you know, there is yet another one. Oh, brilliant. 
collect the Camusaurus. Thank you so much, subscriber. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. And when we talk about kindness, I mean, this, this individual really has been incredibly kind because I know what I was expecting. And I mean, that was more than enough, quite frankly. Such a rare figure is this little Stachysaurus now. <laughs> that was all I was expecting. And <laughs> wow, you have really, really made my day. I mean, honestly, these little collector ornithopods, they're just absolutely outstanding. Thank you so much for these beautiful figures to add to my collection. How can I ever thank you enough? This is just, this is one of the kindest acts of, you know, random kindness I've ever, ever had. So, you know, this is absolutely something else. Thank you so much. Here we go. Here is the original Schleichsodacosaurus. See if I can get the camera to focus on these little dudes. And as you can see, the original paint scheme compared to my um, slightly more, well, I don't know, it's a different species to uh, the Mongoliensis. Um, in fact, I know there's several different species of Sodacosaurus, but still went with a, a similar kind of, of colour scheme. You know, as I just thought it, it would it would suit this little figure. I don't know if it lived in the same environment as Mongoliensis, but it certainly, I hope you agree, that my colour scheme is a better fit for this beautiful little sculpt than the original green that um, Schleich had covered this stunningly sculpted figure in. And I mean, it really is beautiful, the pose and the wrinkling and everything. I mean, the, you know, absolutely astounding. You can't really really see it under this paintwork but the eyes and everything are, are beautifully sculpted you know all these little studs in the skin all these ornamental scales um, it's one thing I always regretted with my paint is I would have you know blended this a little more underneath and maybe he's you know maybe he's with me next one I'll, 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 I'll do a better job but here you can see the difference to be honest the green doesn't look as bad as I remembered it you know I mean it, it's such a, a good little sculpt such a shame that Schleich decided to discontinue this figure when it probably is one of the best little dinosaur figures out there, especially for the price of it, you know. Thank you so much. Thank you. I honestly can't thank you enough for this. This is <laughs> this is absolute dino heaven I'm in right now. I mean, I absolutely adore the pods. I know they're not the most popular uh, dinosaurs and, you know, I, th I think often there's a a bit of a tendency to make them a little too um, horse-like, maybe. So I tend to feel like they're probably big, rough, tough things, all of the pods, even the smaller ones, you know. It's going to pop open this absolutely gorgeous little Anchoanosaurus as well. You have absolutely spoiled me and you have made my day. There's not a lot of happiness in the world right now and there's certainly not a lot of happiness in my life. I have not been feeling myself at all for around about a year. You hit a certain age as a woman when they don't tell you that certain things start happening. Watch out for that ladies. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> funny things start happening biologically. And uh, on top of that I've had a couple of, I've, had, I've had a bereavement this year. Uh, it's really very very special. And on top of that uh, I had a family tragedy also. So this oh what a gorgeous little figure. Look at this beautiful young Chihuahuasaurus. I hope you can see some of the detail here. So it means when I've got the camera facing this direction, it doesn't mean it just wants to focus on the face, which is unfortunate. I do apologise. You can see all the detail on this little guy. What an absolute little stunner. As most PNSL figures are. I mean, even at the scale, the detail on this figure. I can't wait for the new PNSL figures that come now because they just seem to keep going from strength to strength. And all these figures, obviously, they're not the scale. But they're kind of similar in size. So obviously, I think the Cetacosaurus is probably the well, bottom. Floppy Tyrannodon, yeah, obviously the mechanism still works as well. And of course, the articulated jaw and the articulated neck. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> honestly, I, honestly I, I, I don't know what, what else to say. It's just, this is brilliant. These all look so nice together as well. You see why I love all of the pods so much now. You know, look at these three. What a fantastic assembly that is. What a beautiful lineup of little orbiter pods we have here. Well done, Collector. And thank you so much because now you've given me a load of figures to review for the channel, you know. Um, so, not only have you absolutely made my week this week, 
um, you know, you've, you've also given me more content to share with my subscribers. And I hope that the subscribers have enjoyed watching this. I don't think I've ever reacted quite as emotionally as this before. Um, because this really is an absolutely supreme act of kindness that I've been on the recipient of here. And uh, to that person, I can never thank you enough. And I will always be grateful. And if there's anything I can do, please just let me know. Thank you so much for all of these figures. And I will be in touch with you soon. And I hope to see you all of my regular subscribers in the forthcoming review videos. I'll do a closer comparison of the Stachysaurus as it is now and as it was. And uh, take care, stay safe and be kind to each other. And I'll hopefully see you soon.